One of the things that we have done is protected um, uh, street preachers mm. who have been arrested. And actually, we've got, I think, more than 60 cases over 10 years plus that we've been running. And every single one, we've got them cleared. And the most recent example was um, Dave McConnell. Yes. Um, and um, he'd actually been arrested and charged and convicted of misgendering. That was what he actually did. Um, a chap dressed as a woman came up. You know, He invites questions from the audience. The chap mm. came up, asked him a question. Uh, does God approve of the LGBT community? And he he replied saying, well, this gentleman here mm. has asked this question. Of course, the crowd says, what? You know, that's not a gentleman. And he's, oh, yes, it is. And, you know, and then they call the police. Mm. And then the police say, well, you know, that's a public court offence. You've misgendered this poor chap here. Poor lady there, we call her, him. Um, and, oh, it's impossible um, these days, isn't it? And, oh, it's uh, ridiculous. <laughs> and so, you know, it went to court and initially he was convicted and he was actually fined, I think it was £600 and 80 hours of community service. And um, we took an appeal on that case and just last month um, we got it turned over. Um, so he's he's free on that. And um, that's quite a significant case because, you know, you've got to be free to say in conscience mm. what you think the person's gender is. And, and uh, in court, Dave McConnell said, I wasn't misgendering, I was speaking the truth. Mm. And when asked, well, how do you know what his gender was? I said, well, he said, well, the evidence of my own eyes mm. is how I knew. And, and he, you've got to be free to say what your conscience says is the truth about somebody. And the fact is, you know, for a Christian, whether someone's male or female, that's how God has made them.